The following program is for men aged 18 and over. This program contains adult content aimed at men who have sex with men. Listener discretion is strongly advised. The Steam Room on Gay SA Radio. Brought to you by the South African National Department of Health's PILA Project. Hi there, and welcome to the Steam Room. If you are a man who has sex with men, then you are in the right place. If the subject offends you or does not interest you, well, then it might be time to leave. If, however, you're a guy who loves getting it on with another guy, then listen a bit closer, because in the series of programs, we talk about man-on-man sex in all its forms and how to keep healthy in the process. So, hi there. It's me again. Remember me? Ooh, well, this is awkward. (laughs) Okay, so perhaps it's time I reintroduce myself. My name is Max. That's right, Max. Which is definitely not my real name. I mean, (laughs) that's what the steam room is all about. This is a safe space where we can all wear masks and then be anonymous so we can talk about anything and everything. And tonight, well, tonight it can be said that we're going deeper than ever before, uh, so to speak. Because for the next few minutes, we're breaching the vein and traveling deep into the world of blood donation. (laughs) Yep, tonight on the show, we're talking about the issues surrounding blood donation by a man who has sex with men. The main reason why there's the misconception about gay men not being allowed to donate blood is that used to be the case. Would you accept blood from someone else in this room? No. no. How is it possible that just because you are under the label gay, you automatically have the virus? That's what people think. I hope you're ready to get steamy with me and join me here in the steam room tonight as we turn up the heat and really get things going. Are you ready? (laughs) Here we go.